Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary in Final Fantasy XIV and Walker Kruznik X, along with Arya Stormborn. Shh. I'm not here. Asuna Deathbringer. What's up, guys? Lord Firex. Pizza tastes good. Baron Boop Boop. who once again continues to mute himself. Minerva Weathervane, who unfortunately is muted as well due to Baron Boop Boop's muting. And Ten Masabeta. My asshole talks to people and says a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> once again, we're playing Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. And last episode, we... Instead of, you know, doing something important where... Giving the Loperitz a tour. This epic music, and we're wasting it on guided tours of nothing. Anyway, let's move on to speak to Cooking Way and continue with the next the next quest, Agriculture Shock. This is all very wonderful, I'm sure, but I was rather hoping to learn more about your nourishment provision facilities. In other words, where's the food? I believe both the knowledge and consumables you seek may be found at Merial Agronomics. As I imagine Singing Way and the others intended to study every conceivable facet of this apparatus, wouldst thou be so kind as to escort our visiting culinarian? Yes, that sounds much more interesting. Hopefully I'll be able to see firsthand some of the delicacies Orianger was telling me about. Even this, in, even his incredibly vivid, if a bit too verbose, descriptions cannot compare to sampling them myself. Not to mention it, there will soon be no more. And so I must learn all I can while there is still time. Let us brook no further delay. Yeah, let's not delay any further, because... Tenma, what did you send? Okay. Oh, Tenma finished the storyline. This is the place, yes? The heady aroma was enough to guide me here, and I've spotted several of the fruit and vegetables featured in our compendium. I dearly love to try some, but I've read that those who help themselves to a farmer's crops without permission are often caught and put into pies. What book is they reading? <laughs> Peter Rabbit, maybe? Perhaps you could ask whoever's in charge if they would be willing to part with a few samples. Cooking Way is now accompanying you. Oh my god. A loperate running is just adorable. Yeah. I wonder I wonder how bad they s It's still cute, but it's kind of like a Lalafell run almost. Albeit slower. Anyway. Hey, a Jebgi. <sighs> what a fine mess this is. Ah, it's you. The one who climbed down the mine shaft. I'd show you around if I could, but I'm rushed off my feet preparing for the exodus. I'm not the only one. We've all gotta find ways to do what we to do what we do down on here up there. First on the moon, then on whichever star the form decides will be our new home. It's all so sudden. So unreal. Don't you want to go to I the moon? Well, it's better than waiting for the final days to claim us. But no matter how carefully it's all planned, we'll never be able to take every variety of flora and fauna with us. 
Even the ones we can take may not survive in their new environment. So many species doomed to extinction. Sorry, that's not what you came to talk about, is it? Nothing quite so dire, I assure you. We merely wish to sample a little of your produce, if we may. By all means, help yourselves. Much appreciated, my good fellow. So, where to begin? Probably over here. Oh, I know what these are. Grapes, yes? Let's see if they are as delicious as they look. They look fucking ruined. The big person I used to look at, you know, do that. Yeah. Are they the square grapes? No, they updated them. So sweet. I know they do. So sour. The taste is much like a ripe philosopher's carrot, and yet the texture is entirely different. The contrast between the outer skin and the fruit within is most peculiar, though far from unpleasant. Yes. I think I'll try another. Well, that's certainly given me food for thought. Though in a far less visceral manner than any philosopher's carrot. But tell me, what is your opinion of grapes? Yes, Chris, what is your opinion on grapes? <laughs> Meh. <laughs> Meh. An expression of indifference, I assume. In all fairness, our compendium did know they are valued more as an ingredient for spirituous, spiritous beverages rather than as a fruit for regular consumption. Anyway, that's enough about grapes for the time being. On to the next treat! I don't know where I'm going. This way. Orange by name, orange by nature! What came first, the fruit or the color? Who cares? Let's eat! That's the fruit. Mmm. Yes, that's... Mmm. Equal parts sweet and sour, as with the grapes, yet nothing alike. Hmm. I may have to consult Orianger about expanding my vocabulary. I simply cannot find the words to describe it. Perhaps what I'm looking for is... Bitter. This is all very complicated, you know. So many flavors, so many choices. And each individual with their own personal preferences. Hey, Rose. Hey, Rose. Yeah, she's probably still loading in for me. Yep, knew it. I'm always the last to hear people. Hi. Hi, hey. Amano. How's it going, Amana? Oh, good. I am... Um, so, my boss actually changed my schedule, which I appreciate. Um, yeah. I was supposed to do... I was supposed to do 3 to 11 today, but she's like, hey, if you can do 2 to 8 for me, you know, today, and then can you do 2 to 10? For me tomorrow, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll take that two to ten over that three to eleven any day." Sound, sounds fun. Yeah. That's awesome. Sorry, you caught us in the middle of a live stream at the moment. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll mute myself. No, honey, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Anyway, I am. I'm waiting to start roulettes. If or, or I mean. I don't know if anybody has anything else they want to do, but... I'm going to continue reading lines, anyway. Now I see I'm why you all turned your noses up... Now I see why you all turned okay. your noses up at the idea of eating nothing but carrots. Marvelous though they are in my... Marvelous though they still are in my estimation. Let no one say I said otherwise. Ah, but speaking of carrots, I've yet to sample any of the vegetables. Let's see what's in that field over there. Oh, can't hop the fence. 
because it's a, ra a ravine. Uh huh. What's over here? Looks like pumpkins. That's what I was thinking. That color, <laughs> that texture. Are they some sort of enormous round carrots? They're pumpkins, dude. No. In any case, proper nomenclature is less of a concern than the taste. and flavorless. I may as well be chewing on a piece of wood. That all but confirms it. These are nothing more than misbegotten failures masquerading as goodly carrots. Stop, stop, stop. Can't you see those are pumpkins? And no one with any sense would try eating them raw. You're supposed to cook them first. Do you not find it an awful bother? Far from it. Cooking is a joy unto itself. And what's more, it broadens the range of ingredients that we may safely eat. But above all else, cooking allows us to draw out the full potential of our produce. Pumpkin stew has been one of my favorite dishes for as long as I can remember. Then perhaps then even these hard blocks of plant matter Why can become as... guy you're not healing me, man? Mm. That was weird. Nope. Then perhaps even these hard blocks of plant matter can become as delicious as the orange I sampled. I wonder, though, if there's anything even more delicious. How about that yellow fruit on the over yonder? Pears? What a wondrous fragrance! With luck, it'll have a flavor to match. As I've no idea how these are eaten, I'll just bite into it. Mm. Right. My tongue is it poison? <laughs> a lemon? You mean it's supposed to taste like this? How can something so similar to an orange be so revolting? Ah, it may be some time before my palate recovers from this ordeal. As such, I had best call to an end to this round of sampling. Let's say our farewells and return to the others. I rather like lemon. In my tea. Finished our view. I trust you found something to your liking. I'm rather enamored with the grapes and oranges. Less so the pumpkin. Though I learned the hard way they're not to be eaten raw. Then there was the lemon. The deceiver. I, I still feel so violated. <laughs> First time, was it? I may for you to leave with a bad taste in your mouth. In more ways than one. So I'll give you this lemon muffin I baked. If this doesn't change your opinion, nothing will. More lemon? Have I not something enough? Nevertheless, it would be remiss of me to spend this opportunity to... Oof. Bit of sick came up that. Learn more of your inscrutable ways. Very well, lemon muffin. Do your worst! Uh, a lemon muffin sounds pretty good, actually. It does. A nice poppy seed muffin. Nice poppy seed. Aww, now I want muffins. Yeah, me too. And I have a recipe for it too. Oh. This is delicious. Mm. Although I still detect a hint of lemon, it complements the sweetness of the dough to create a perfect harmony. I never would have guessed its vile bitterness could be utilized so elegantly. My good chap, this is simply breathtaking! See? We rarely use lemon in its natural state, but it has a starring role in all sorts of recipes. And the same is true for many other ingredients. It comes down to making the most of the resources at your disposal. And sometimes that can even be the difference between life and death. I know we won't be able to take every species with us, 
No doubt the four, no doubt the four agonized over what was worth preserving, and what would be consigned to history. Hard choices, but make them we must if we're to survive. Such strength of will. Now I know what Heidelin sees in your kind. Mankind, the Loperets. The we were both born from the accumulated knowledge of the ancients. They learned all there is to learn about the nature of sentient life and the fates of the stars themselves. Once a civilization has fulfilled the basic requirements for survival, it will inevitably seek to eliminate all forms of negativity and achieve perfection. And therein lies its folly and its downfall. For perfection is an unattainable ideal. Tis the paradox of the immaculate carrot. Yet civilizations since time immemorial have deemed the pursuit of perfection as progress. They pay no heed to the cost incurred in their futile quest and all too often become the architects of their own demise, their dreams forever unfulfilled. What then is the alternative? The answer lies in knowing that our existence can never be perfect. To be content with what we have and make the most of it. When life gives you lemons, make lemon muffins. That makes sense. Uh, pardon my... Pardon my Eorzean, but what in the seven hells are you on about? And who are you, anyway? Cooking way, at your service. I'm here to help prepare for the trip to the moon. And once you get there, you'll be able to try my carrots. I've been growing all different kinds. But don't worry, there'll be room for your crops, too. We'll work together to preserve as many of Etheris' species as possible. If you're up to the challenge. Yes, of course. I look forward to it. Well, this has been all been highly productive, probably. Let's go see if Bouillon and the others have run out of machinery to inspect, shall we? All right, now that we've taken a fair detour. I hope we don't have to continue giving a grand tour, because I would like to take the fight already. How many qu more quests do I have? What, what quest are you on? Uh, Agriculture Shock. Agriculture Shock. While you're, uh, while you're counting, I'm going to speak with Cooking Way. Whoops, wrong, uh, uh, wrong Loperit. That was most uh, enlightening. Especially the part with the lemon muffin. Actually, I was wondering, do you know of any other places famed for their cuisine? Limson Lominsa is home to the Culinarians Guild, and many less than savory establishments. One that I had time to visit. The more I learn of it, there is the more I wish we could spare it from the final days. Alas, Heidelin's orders are to flee, not to resist. If only there was some other way. Uh, that was only one quest, right? Yeah, it's only one quest, yeah. Uh, yeah, but... I'm gonna take a quick break. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, here are all the links provided to get you where you need to go. See you in the next episode.